today is December 17th and I hate to say it, but I forgot all about posting my sales for my antique booth from November. So today I'm going to do that. I'm going to share with you what sold. Um, it's really exciting because it's my best month yet. Uh, so let's get into it. So on the 3rd of November, I sold a sofa or console table and it was a Goodwill find that I used for a while in my own home, um, but I ended up selling it for $35. And on the, also on the third, I sold an Imperial Grand Rapids antique tea cart. Now I bought this tea cart thinking it would go for a lot of money because it was really a unique piece. Um, however, I tried listing it originally for like, I don't know, maybe $130 and I kept marking it down, marking it down. It finally sold for $95, but I had purchased it for $50. So not a lot of room for profit, unfortunately. On November 5th, I sold two Bath & Body Works wallflower refills for $4 each. Not a big sale, but at least I'm getting through them. Um, on the 11th, I sold three items. I sold a Ray Dunn Bumblebee Honey Pot with Wood Dipper for $16 and two Rachel Ray Red 18 ounce casseroles with lid. Now I had four of these. I got these at Goodwill a while ago um, and I was hoping they'd all sell together, all four of them. However, they did end up selling pretty much individually. On November 13th, I sold a 2003 ceramic candy dish in box. Um, it was actually a, an M&M's candy dish from my dad, so there were no cost of goods there, and that sold for $20. Um, and on the 16th, I sold a glass cloche with wood base that I got at Goodwill, and I think that was in one of my haul videos. Um, I found the glass topper on a separate in a separate aisle from the bot the wooden base. So I put those two together. When I found the glass, I knew there had to be a wooden base somewhere in the uh, Goodwill. On the 18th of November, I sold an antique copper coal scuttle. Now I had purchased this for $35 and I sold it for $95, my full asking price. I was willing to uh, haggle, but they didn't have any interest in haggling, I guess. So I got full price on that. That was really exciting. And I had purchased that at a yard sale. I think uh, I have that in a haul video as well. And then on the 19th, I sold a Ray Dunn butter dish and lid, and that sold for $20. And then on the 20th, the next day, I sold a bar cart on wheels with tray topper. Um, that sold for $120. I almost marked that down. And then two days later, it sold for full price. And uh, I only purchased it for $40 at a yard sale. And that I know for sure is like, the thumbnail for one of my older videos. And then on the 21st, I sold a 35 piece stainless flatware set for $14. Now this wasn't anything special, um, but it was a good size flatware set um, that I had used for many years until we got a replacement for my mother-in-law. Um, and this one was just in a Ziploc bag taped closed. So it didn't look very good, but it sold. Um, and then on the 21st, also on the 21st, I'm sorry, I sold a carousel gumball machine from my parents. I'm not sure where they got it from, but it was a really good looking piece um, and it sold for $75. And since I didn't have any cost of goods in it, that was pure profit after commission. And then the last day of the month, the 30th, I sold a Falsgraf Mirage Frost 20 piece flatware set. And that was new in box that I had purchased at Goodwill some time ago. And I sold that for $25. And I think I purchased it for $7. So yeah, it was it was a decent sell, I suppose. And so I know that doesn't sound like a lot. I think that's 15 items that I sold for the month of November. So that, you know, seems like not a great sale month but I sold a lot of high dollar items and normally I only sell smalls. So it was really an exciting month. Um, so let's go over the totals here. For the totals of everything I sold, I sold $559. Um, cost of goods was $154, not too terrible. Um, I think what really got me was that $50 on the antique cart. Um, commission was a total of $55.90. 
and the profit so the profit on all the items when you take the total price that they sold at and subtract the cost of goods and commission i profited $349.10, so $349, but my rent is really high, so my rent is $272. The mall takes 10% of commission, 10% commission on all of everything I sell, and then they also take $272 in rent for a nine by 10 foot space. Um, so my total profit after all expenses was $77.10. And now remember, this is my best month yet. So, um, you know, it's it's a hobby. It's not a money maker, but I really enjoy it. So I'll <laughs> just keep on going. Um, and hopefully this month in December will be better. Although it's been a rough start, let's be honest. Yeah, I haven't sold that much yet. I don't, And I don't have a lot of big pieces in there anymore either. So I need to fill it up with more furniture. Um, but anyway, if you like this video and you got to the end, then think about hitting the subscribe button and the like button. And I will see you next time. Bye.